Right, hello, welcome to another video. And today, Gary is going to show us the way into this uh, very lost mine. Not many people know about this one at all. We affectionately call it the dog bed level, because yeah, there's a dog bed in the front, funny enough. Uh, quite picturesque under this massive tree. Yeah, it's another Narnia sort of entrance. And this, I believe, is a trial for, I think, don't quote me, barriers. Uh, so, it goes all over the place. It does suffer from bad air as well, so I think it's... Hello, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> Gary's having fun there. Uh, no date for it. Probably early 1800s, as usual. So, just look a little in. Right, just inside. A little bit stinky, a little bit sulfurous. But here we are, and it's a nice wide opening, as you can see. From my uh, Gary there. And uh, yes, a lot of calcite deposits on the wall here. Looks like little books have become entrapped. And uh, there's a, uh, what do you call these things? I forgot what they're called now. Terrace, calcite terrace. A tiny little bits of calcite inside. So, uh, yeah. And as you can see, all the calcite on the roof too. So, I'm going to make our way down here. Keep you with me, because it's only a few seconds to the main junction. And then, a lot of books in here as well, so there we go. Right, we're just inside. Come see. Um, there's an oil drum. And we've got a left or right junction. There we go. He's down there. Up there. And dead ahead. Now we do have a thunderstorm outside. Which is quite rare. So, the problem with thunderstorms is they bring high pressure along with them. So, you've got to be careful about uh, the air quality. So, you can see some calcite there. And some very rough remains of a wooden beam going across. A little bit of it there. And there's the the wood and for some reason string at the bottom. Very strange. So let us continue. Let's see what we see. And so it's again. So this is a trial, so what they're doing is they're looking for the veins. They were successful further up in the valley, but as far as we were, not with this one, so it was never developed further. And down here. Somebody's having a wee behind me. My boots off. And down here we got a recently deceased animal that wasn't there last time I was here. And so it's kind of got some bags, isn't that nice? Okay, we'll head up there and we'll join us in a moment. Okay, there's uh, some dead zone. You can see it's opened up even wider, even if it's not lower. But as we progress, you're just getting these sideways. So it's like it's more, more like a coal mine, it's a grid pattern. You can see there's a layer of shale. I think it's barriers, as I said. So, yes, and here's, my, here's another bricked up. Uh, what do they call them? Oh, it's got a name in coal mines, sort of working level. So, this is the main haulage level, and then these, those offshoots are the working levels. So, very much a grid pattern to this. But going up on a collapse, just see here. Let's have a look at this. With Gary, as we progress. Uh. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get myself up there, so back in a moment. Okay, I've reached the top of the collapse there, and as you can see, on the left is another drift, working drift, front. We've got some uh, nice rotten wood. Lovely. And you can see it's now opening out. So we go down here, yeah, so like go down here and ahead. Thanks to Gary there, it's opening up as it goes into the shell. So, there we go, my torch is flashing for some reason. Right. Okay, a little bit further on, and you've got a right hand junction there, Gary's up ahead, and the left hand one there. Very loose geology here, uh, but you can feel already a massive crack there. Well, you can feel already uh, the air starting to get 
a lot warmer and drier. So we got to take that into account as we progress through this rough section. Uh, right. Okay. There's Gary sitting there. for us today. Uh, Gary's just going to have a look. We can feel the air's not brilliant and um, that's a crawl, a long crawl we're ahead and uh, with multiple people, when low, goes, low oxygen uh, in these areas you've got to come back through it as well so it's probably yeah. best not to proceed. Right, uh, Gary's just had a wander down one of these side drifts areas and he's found this very rotten piece of wood, it almost looks like a sculpture now, isn't that nice? Lovely. Alright, we'll continue with our wonderments. Okay, we have a question for those playing along at home. We know what that is, that's calcite, but... Does so anybody actually know what these are? The wet is like sort of gross, but not quite sure what they are. I think there's some sort of fungus, but if you do know, then for these scale, does know. For scale, for scale, there's a Gary hand. <laughs> right. Yes, we're just heading back towards the portal to do the left and right branches and you can really smell, as our little dead friend, you can really smell garlic from outside and there's the infamous dog bed hanging out around just outside the portal. So we'll go back in the water and uh, take one of the branches. Right, I gave Gary the option of going left or right, he chose that way. <laughs> and there's a very rotten can in the water. And uh, we'll put a little shelf side bit to so work our way around here. Now, I do believe, this is a pretty part of mine, you've already been noticing that, that if you were to go right here, you'll see there's a lot of calcite here, and on the floor too. And you can go along here, but as you can see there, it gets low. And just beyond that point is uh, sort of a uh, side of a quarry, so that's not going to go very far, but we're going to go have a look anyway, don't it? Just for you. Right, there's that low ledge there, and beyond it, you can see. Uh, it's low, and it looks like it goes to collapse. It looks like it. So, we're going to go and verify that, aren't we? Okay, go first, we'll see the scale. Well volunteered there, Gary. He likes to volunteer for shit jobs. I mean, really nice jobs like this. Don't you go? It's his favourite thing to do. There you go, you can see the scale of it now. Lovely. There's more of that there. So, yeah, we are just around the corner and it just go to just a collapse there. So. And, uh, some sort of stringy growth going on. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here, Gary. Right, I don't know how this is showing on video, but uh, this deposit on the floor, this formation, it's uh, sparkling at me. This is something you don't see too often, but it has all the colours of the rainbow sparkling back at me. I don't know how well it's picking it up. 
you got this lovely calcite formation on the right hand side there as well. So, well, and it goes on. This is, uh, just I'm going to slightly bend over for this, so, okay. level with the entrance but here for some reason they've chosen to block it up a bit back so I wonder if you're using that as a like a bait area or uh, a passing area maybe but continuing on in this very rotten abandoned mine uh, and up here we can see lots of decks and a little chill chamber there we go that looks like it's stabilised over the years. Uh, there's nothing on the floor, so that may have come down, uh, apart from that over there, which is not from that. Uh, so that may have come down when the mine was active and they obviously cleared it away. But, yeah, see here, yeah, all the deads on the left hand side and this wood. Very rotten, probably. Very wet, but still doing its job. All these years later. Right. right, so I wonder what was going on here then. Were they running out of trees? Because it looks like they've literally gone outside, grabbed the remains of a fallen tree and stuck it in there. That's just weird. I may have been doing it on the cheap as this was a trial, so yes. I should get that printed on a t-shirt, shouldn't I? Just a little further on. And there's the end of the mine. And uh, I don't know what they were up to here. Looks like they were trying to chase the vein again, but unsuccessfully. I wonder what the vein is, if there is any of it here. I wonder if there's a slight little thin vein there that I have to... I do not know. If anybody does, let us know. So, there we go. That's the end of this part. to hold up the ceiling and it's been squished or I'm not it's been put this theory it's an old hopper but I don't think it is there's no obvious hole in the ceiling and this is only as far as I know there's only one level and no upper workings just after this one vein one vein going through so yeah oh well there we go okay right so we've uh, come back past the portal and into the other drift and as you can see here once again Rotten timbers, one side has collapsed, but the roof is still there. Oh well. And you can see Gary there. Oh. And what have we got up here? Ow! And we're gonna go get there. But you can see here there are some nice little formations hiding away. In the corner there, so right, let's go and have a look down there. And there's Gary sitting at the end of this drift. Now there are more drifts, but they do suffer from bad air. Uh, I do know. So we will come back. Something just moved down there. Did you hear that? Uh, we've just heard thunder as well. Uh, yeah. Thunderstorm outside, so we just heard thunder rumble through the mine. Uh, but yeah, we will come back uh, with them because we don't have an air meter on this trip, so 
we're playing it cautiously as you should I'm relying on air meter mark one but there we go so that's the end of this trip so little mine but if you like then please subscribe like you can join us on Facebook and what's the other one reddit reddit so oh and Instagram so there you go and hope you enjoyed that thank you and thank you for your tour guide there Gary